very wonderful morning to my esteemed listener. I am Yemi Grisman Adoloju, lead pastor, Lighthouse International Christian Center, Samanda UI Road, Ibadan, Nigeria, welcoming you to today's edition of our program, Daily Impact. For our meditation and discussion, we're considering the word of God from the book of the prophet Isaiah, chapter number 60, from verse 1 through to verse number 3. The scripture says, Arise, shine, for thy light is come, and the glory of the Lord is risen upon thee. For behold, the darkness shall cover the earth, and gross darkness the people. But the Lord shall arise upon thee, and his glory shall be seen upon thee. And the Gentiles shall come to thy light, and kings to the brightness of thy rising. The Lord bless the hearing. The Lord bless the reading and the hearing of his word in the precious name of Jesus. Do not forget, this is your year of greater glory. God is interested in showcasing you and showcasing his glory in your life. The glory of God will be seen upon you this year. You won't spend this year telling stories. You will show forth the glory of God. Do not forget, the Bible tells us in the book of Romans chapter number 8 and in verse number 19, that the earnest expectation of all creation is waiting for the manifestation of the sons of God. The world is waiting for your manifestation. The world is waiting for your shining. And that is what God is also expecting. God is expecting you to arise and manifest his power to this generation. In a passage of consideration, the scripture says, arise, then shine. Now, arising precedes shining. In other words, you cannot shine until you arise. If you want the glory of God to be seen upon your life and upon your destiny, then there is the need for you to rise up. You cannot sit down or sit still and expect to experience the glory of God. The glory follows your rising up. You've got to arise if you want the glory of God to be seen. It is not enough, dear listener, to claim the promise of greater glory. You cannot afford to fold your hands. It is important for you to rise up and do something for this greater glory to become a manifestation in your life and not just a slogan. It is my prayer that this focus, this promise, will not be a mere slogan in your life. It will be really manifested. You will experience it in every department of your life and of your destiny. But one major key for this to happen is for you to arise. It is important for you to arise if you must shine. You must understand that your shining is inextricably connected to your rising. What does it mean, therefore, to arise? Number one, to arise is to awake. We have been sleeping. You are like a new baby, a baby in the womb. You are sleeping. Now, you have been birthed. The womb of the outgone year has pushed you forth brought you forth into this new year. There is the need for you to now awake, to now arise and get up and get going with your life and with your destiny. In Psalm 57, verse number 8, the Bible says, Awake up, my glory, awake, sultry and up. I myself will awake early. I plead with you, dear listener, it is important for you to awake early. Stop sleeping. The year has begun. Don't wait. Time does not wait for anyone. The year does not wait for anyone. Do not forget, this was how 2023 started. And you were reminding yourself and you are relishing in the fact that the year is still young. The year is still young. You were saying the year is young. And find, you found yourself in June. You were saying, okay, it's just mid, mid, the year is midway. You found yourself in October and November. And before you knew what was happening, December rolled in and rolled out. And now you are in a new year. What am I saying? Don't relish on the newness of the year. Nothing could be so deceptive as the year that starts in such a new way and before you knew it, is gone. Don't let this year go. Rise up early. Wake up early and start doing something meaningful and productive with your life. That scripture says, I wake up. My glory, awake, sultry and up. I myself will awake early. Awake very early this year. That is very crucial. That is very important. To arise also is to be dutiful. In 1 Corinthians chapter 4, 
And in verse number 12, part A of verse 12 says, And neighbor, working with our own hands, there is the need for you to be dutiful this year. It is important, dear listener, be dutiful. Get up, labor, work with your hands. Don't join those who believe in no work but profit. No, don't join those who are waiting to reap where they have not sown. That is the scriptures. I also believe in that scriptures. But I believe in the dignity of labor. I believe in working. Yes, as you work, God may cause you to begin to reap where you have not sown. It is a scripture that cannot be controverted. I believe it. But what am I saying? Don't fold your hands because there is a promise that you will reap where you have not sown. You do not know when. You do not know where. You will reap where you have not sown. It is important for you to work now. Labor, that does hard work and labor is profitable at all times. There is profit in all labor according to the scriptures. So it is important for you to labor. So to arise is to be dutiful. Number three, what does it mean again to arise? To arise is to be responsible. Dear listener, there is the need for you to put away all forms of immaturity and childish behavior. Irresponsibility is a mark of immaturity and childishness. You've got to be responsible. Be responsible in your behavior. Be responsible to work. Be responsible at home. Be responsible at work. Please live responsibly. Be responsible. Demonstrate responsibility. Please be alive to your duties. Be alive to your activities. That is another meaning of rising or arising. What does it mean again to arise? Number four, to arise means to be engaged actively or actively engaged. Be engaged. Don't just fold your hands and watch others do things. To arise is to be an active participant in the process of your making or the program of your life. Don't be a man who is full of ideas without participation in what will bath the ideas. There are very many people in the house of God, at places of work, in schools, who are men of ideas, but they will never lift a finger when it comes to performance. Don't be like that. To arise is not only to volunteer or share your ideas, but to be dutifully and actively engaged. In Nehemiah chapter 3 and in verse number 5, the Bible says, And next unto them, the Tekoite repaired, but the nobles put not their necks to the work of their Lord. In the repair of the, the walls of Jerusalem, every tribe, every family was building and or repairing. The Bible says, Meshulam, the son of Berakiah, repaired after Merimoth, the son of Urijah. And the Bible says, after him, repaired Zadok, the son of Bahana. But verse 5 now says, and next unto them, they take quite repaired, but their nobles put not their necks to the work of their Lord. They were too noble to be engaged. They did not arise, and therefore they did not see glory. May you see glory in every aspect of your life. But for you to see glory, you must arise. And to arise means to awake very early, to be dutiful, to be responsible, to be actively engaged, and of course, to be diligent. The Lord will give you understanding and it will make this year your year of greater glory indeed. You will rise, you will shine, and God's glory will be seen upon you in Jesus' precious name. Let us pray. I'd like you to lift up your voice and pray. A Father, I receive the grace to arise, to awake early, to be dutiful, to be responsible, to be actively engaged in the process of my glory. In the name of Jesus, this is my prayer, O God. I receive the grace to arise very early, to awake from my sleep and slumber, to be dutiful, to be responsible, to be actively engaged and be diligent. Help me, O God, to do what is necessary in the process of my glory, in the precious name of Jesus. Thank you, mighty Father. In Jesus' precious name, I'd like you to lift up your voice and pray and say, Father, let your glory be seen upon me this year. In the name of Jesus, let me not tell stories. Let me demonstrate and manifest your glory. 
in the name of Jesus. This is my prayer, O God, that I will not tell stories with my life this year, but that I will manifest your glory. I will reveal your glory. This generation and creation will see the manifestation of your glory in my life in the name of Jesus. I thank you, eternal Father, in Jesus' precious name. I'd like you to lift up your voice and pray and say, Father, give me the grace to give it what it takes to arrive at my place in glory in the name of Jesus. Let me not slack in any aspect of my life. Give me the grace to do what is necessary for me to see your glory, for me to experience your glory in the name of Jesus. I receive the grace to do what is necessary for me to see the glory of God in my life this year in the precious name of Jesus. I thank you, my Father, because it is done in Jesus' precious name. Amen. I pray in the name that is above all names that the Lord will give you that grace to arise and to shine. There can be no shining without rising. Receive that grace and stamina to rise up in the name of Jesus. God will cause you to awake very early. You will not sleep. You will not slumber. I pray your time will not be wasted. Your days will not be wasted. Your year will not be wasted. I pray for the grace to be dutiful in the name of Jesus. The Lord will make you a man of responsibility. And I pray you will be actively engaged. You will participate in the process of your glory, in the process of your success. Talk is cheap. You will not just talk your way to poverty. You will walk your way to glory in the name of Jesus. You will be engaged to pay the necessary price for you to see glory this year in the precious name of Jesus. And so shall it be in Jesus' precious name we have prayed. Amen. Join us later this evening uh, for day number three of our 30 days of power. The time is 9 p.m. till 9.30 p.m. Join on my YouTube or Facebook platform at the handle is at Jemmy Grisman. If you have not already subscribed to my YouTube channel, do right away and join at that meeting later this evening. It continues to the 31st of January. The Lord will empower you to arrive at your place in the name of Jesus. Forward this message and share the link with your contacts. Until I come your way again tomorrow for another exciting edition of our program. I am Jemmy Graceman and Duluju wishing you a very glorious day and the Lord bless you. Oh.